Hi everybody, welcome back to Armour 3. Now this video is for new starters, new players, beginners to Armour 3. And I want to show you something you may not be aware of that is a really cool way to get used to playing Armour and to be able to set up your own really simple little scenarios where you can practice with infantry, tanks, armoured vehicles, planes, helicopters, all that sort of stuff without having to go into the campaign showcases, challenges or scenarios. And that is the Eden Editor, which is here. So if you just click on the Eden Editor, and I'd kind of recommend Stratus is, is pretty cool um, because it's small, so it tends to load in and run, and the game will run very, very smoothly. So we say continue, we'll, we'll lo load in, and we're in camera view at the moment. So I can use WASD to move the camera around, uh, Q to go up, Z to go down. If you click and hold right mouse and then drag it around, you kind of you kind of look around. Then if we press M, we can bring up the map, scroll out with the mouse wheel, and we go over to the air base. Uh, middle click uh, the mouse wheel, and then press M to come out. Here. So here we are at the base. And so this is our own little playground. Now, we're not going to be uploading anything to the Steam Workshop to publish or anything. We're just going to be playing, placing a few assets to have a little bit of fun. So what we're going to do, let's do a simple scenario where we've got some friendly soldiers against some enemy ones. So on the right, we have all sort of all the assets that we can use and blue is blue for so friendly op red is op for sort of the baddies the enemies and we've got independent people as well um, then we've got some civilians and then with the little man these are basically single vehicles or, or single soldiers then we can place squads of soldiers um, triggers and waypoints these do when you're actually creating proper scenarios that you're going to publish and we've got systems we've got markers Press M to get back. So let us place, I don't know who should have, NATO Pacific. Let's go to, oh, Special Forces men. I oh, like this idea. How about, uh, should I be a marksman, Special Forces marksman? So I can place that pl player down there. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's give him some teammates. So who should we have? Let's have a paramedic. So let's left click him. And bring it in close. And you, can you see that little blue line, turquoise line that's linking them? This is, means they're going to be in the same squad. So they're going to follow each other around. So if I click that, he's in the same squad. So if we look over here on the left-hand side, we can see we've got that. Um, what should we have? Uh, it's good to have an anti-tank person in. You never know. There might be some anti-tank stuff. And how about a spotter in a ghillie suit? So let's put him there. So we've got our little friendly force there. And then what we can do over here... So let's put our enemies over here. So we click on the red button and let's have a look at um, CSAT men. Let's have a combat lightsaber and let's give him a general machine gunner to have go with him and a officer. So let's put them there. So they're the enemies. Let's come back over here. Here's us. Now, what we can do now is if we right click on him, we can play as the character, we can play as here. So we're going to click on play as the character. So we should appear as this fella. Form file. Now, I've got a little um, other mods running that are error, uh, in error. That's what you can see, so don't worry about that. Now, what I can do is if I press the tilde button, uh, which is to the left of the number one, I can say regroup. So they're all going to sort of start following me now, hopefully anyway. So let's head over to where these... Can you lot be a bit quieter, please? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, right, they killed him already. Oh, they killed him already. <laughs> Is that everybody? Oh, no, there's another guy there. Oh, he's running away. There we go. Victory, chaps. Victory. Well done. Well done. So we can press escape, return to the Eden editor. There we go. And kind of everything has reset. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so what other things could we do? Well, what we could do as well, we could have a bit of fun. We could come down and we could say, okay, let's um, let's put a tank in there, shall we? Uh, let's go to friendly first, sorry. Tank, so what should we have? An M21 slammer. So let's put that down there. Let's make that part of the squad. Um, and then on the op four side, let's put a anti-personnel character car. Let's put that there. 
So what we can do is we can right click on the tank and say play as the character. And here we are. Playing as a tank. And now we have got a squad in the tank with us, so hopefully they're going to open fire for me. Oh, we might have to uh, go to gunner seat. Ooh. Change to our main gun. Is he dead yet? Oh, <laughs> they've bailed out. I think I'm going to have to shoot it into the ground, am I? Oh, there we go, we finished it off. I'm sure with a little bit of practice you'll be much better than I am. Uh, um. So there we go, it was a little bit of fun there. So let's go back to the Eden editor. She might say, well that's all very well and good, Rob. But how about things like helicopters? Let's just get rid of this thing first so it doesn't attack us. Well, yeah, we can have helicopters. Um, what you can do is you can have helicopters on the ground um, that you could jump in and fly, or you can have them flying already. Same goes for aircraft. So if we go down and we find, here we go, helicopters. If we t untick this box here, place vehicles with crew, we could just click on the Pawnee and we could put that Pawnee down there and that would be empty. So we could jump into that and we could fly it. However, what you can do as well is, if you place a helicopter on the ground, but then select it and press Alt and put it into the air, what will happen is when we start the scenario, this helicopter will proceed to be flying along. And in fact, we could take it over. We could say, um, let's just take it over and... Is he gonna let me do it? Play it as the character. Right, so we're gonna spawn in as the helicopter. in a second or two with a bit of luck it's going a little bit slow there we go and we are in the helicopter how cool is this so let's come out let's go back to the Eden editor and what you could do is you could place, um, for example, enemy helicopters around um, that you could uh, dogfight. Or if you spawn in a helicopter in the air with some crew and an enemy helicopter in the air with some crew, they will proceed. Let's see if we can find some. Let's put one there, and then we put them up in the air. They will proceed to fight each other and have dogfights above your head while you're running around, which can be very exciting. But we don't have to stop there. We can look at the jets as well. So let's go back to Blue 4. Let's go back to planes. Um, what we could do is we could untick place vehicles with uh, crew. And we could put a A10 type thing down there uh, with no crew in it. Or we could place it with, oh, to just move stuff around as well. If you click it and then press shift, you can. Um, uh, spin is it shift you can spin it around he says oh sorry yes yeah, shift not control there we go so we can spin it around so it lines up properly but we can also place vehicle with crew put it on the ground for example there but if we press alt and put it in the air as soon as we start the scenario this thing will be flying around and in fact what we could do is we could say over here Get some op four planes. These look a bit advanced, don't they? Let's put that in the air. Let's put that in the air there. Um, and then what we can do, 
we could just spawn in and take off or we can right click that if we get in the right place plays the character we're going to spawn in in the aircraft i've got to try not crash it now though so hopefully you're getting the idea of how cool the editor is not really for sort of creating things that you're going to be sharing with other people online or in the steam works or anything like that but just for setting up little scenarios where you can jump in and you can just get used to using here we go Got a full power. I'm not very good with uh, aeroplanes, so I'm probably not going to be able to get. Whoop. If I press the right button, even. They're going to ignore that power usage because I've got SOG AI. Right, where are they? There he is. I missed <laughs> terribly <laughs> and then we can cycle through the weapons with the numbers Ooh, if we don't crash into the sea so one is our burst machine gun we got bombs there we go so what happens if we press that there goes a bomb oh we're gonna crash into the sea there we go turn to the Eden editor so you could put enemy aircraft up and running you around, and you could practice shooting them down. You could put enemy anti-air uh, assets. And you could practice shooting at them. All sorts of stuff that you can play around with and have an awful lot of fun with. Um, you can just go scenario, uh, save as, and you can give it a name, so you can come back to it. You could work on the different maps, um, different mods. You know, I'm just using the vanilla ones here, but if you've got um, Prairie Fire, you could uh, load that up or the World War Two mods when we. Uh, get the official spear point one or even the um, other ones we have now like um, Iron Front all in one our uh, faces of war and you could play with stuff like that and it truly is I mean you could even just spawn in a vehicle and just drive around the maps and ex enjoy exploring them because they are pretty special uh, indeed and uh, yes yeah, the Eden editor one of the hidden things in armor 3 that new players may not be aware of and sometimes can actually be more fun when you start off uh, than playing say the campaign and the scenarios and the challenges because you don't really know what you're doing anyway hopefully you found this video useful if you have hit like if you want to see this more of the same uh, press subscribe and i will of course uh, see you again soon